had his moments and t- right so you're staring at fans next season yeah and we've seen the um the empty stadiums and <laughs> empty stadiums taking the knee um and uh, some people forgetting i.e sane but anyway let's not go there um and uh, <laughs> and all these different scenarios that we've seen um and, and some players like zaha we've done we've done a podcast about we're just sick and tired of the knee because people are just abusing online and and then we started seeing fans um and the classic one that was raised was the Millwall fans um, booing at the knee. Um, but they didn't realise that the West Ham fans booed, but what they did at Sky is switched off the, off the mic. Um, so uh, that was a very clever trick. Um, um, now, the, the, the reality, and obviously now, in front of our faces, we've got the England fans, no matter how much they're clapping, they're clapping to cover up um, a, a sound. A minority uh, yeah, I'm yeah. saying it's, And then you're staring at an absolute nightmare with the fans going back next season with the knee situation and for me um i'm looking at okay right the fa said we're not treating it as a political situation the fa spokesman said it's a it's we're treating it as racism yeah the government it looked at it from a a political perspective and said boris johnson himself said that it's people are free to give their opinion yeah and, and we've said on this show that black lives matter is not a political persuasion for us in this country yeah it doesn't affect us like it's the same way donald trump the same way republicans and it, it doesn't affect us so stop hiding behind that so you're staring at bro all these birmingham teams west Midlands teams taking the knee west Bromwich, wolves uh villa birmingham city uh, even touching Coventry, I don't know if you cover Coventry. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Guys taking the knees in these areas, and even even down to some of the um, the high teams like Hal Owen and um, and and, and, and now for me, um, I would mention it in one of our shows. I'm sure Anthony raised it. Is it a case that in this England scenario, they should be making a rest, looking and actually implementing something, or? Is it just a free for all now this next season, and we literally can't do nothing about it? I think first and foremost, I I don't know obviously what everyone's opinions are about players taking the knee, and again, people I've spoke to are like, well, they're taking the knee and they're aligning themselves to a political movement, the Black Lives Matter, and I I do argue that because I think the players, certainly the players that I've spoken to, are taking the knee to raise awareness on all forms of discrimination and abuse mm-hmm. and when i go out with my friends we we have this we have this discussion <laughs> we, the, the, they'll say oh, God, oh did you see the boo in the, the weekend mm-hmm. what do you think oh it's disgusting etc but it keeps that conversation going so players taking the knee it keeps it it keeps people talking about it um True. so for me I, I actually think it's good that the players continue to take the knee Unfortunately, supporters are booing it in a, in a minority, and it's difficult for us to police supporters mm. booing it. But mm. I believe that they're doing it because they don't understand why players are are taking the knee. They they seem to think it's because they're aligned to the Black Lives Matter. It's a political movement. We don't want politics in football. But players are taking the knee because they want to keep that awareness heightened. They want to keep raising it keep the discussions current and i think ultimately it, it will stay good no no well here we say do you think that we're lacking a black voice or black voices from the pros from the pros basically and an, an actual definitive voice from the pros um i know that we've got um a lot of black fo- footballers that are on tv now that are in prominent positions where their yeah. voices are being listened to but do we have a voice from the professional footballers um, with regards to, to racism or, or discrimination or any form of abuse? We've got, obviously, kick it out, have Anthony Burnett, who, I don't know if you've seen his interviews, he, he quite openly goes on to talk sport, Sky Sports News, and mm. he, he talks about these issues and kind of how he wants to try and tackle them. Um, he, he's a great voice. Um, so he's speaking for Kick It Out's behalf. Um, personally, I think a lot more can be done from all the other yeah. organisations as well. Um, I, I think that 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 needs to happen. 
Uh, but taking the knee keeps it current for me. Mm. Um, England will take the knee tomorrow and there'll be discussions about it Saturday night, Sunday morning, probably all next week about it. And hopefully if England progress, Wednesday it'll happen again and it'll just keep it current. And then players will be back playing games for the start of the season and I think it will continue. And it just keeps everything, people talking about it, keeps raising that awareness as to why players are doing it. No, 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 that's good. That, that's good. Now, we saw the other day. We saw in a report. Um, I think DJ Marks re- um, kind of reported back to us. Uh, there was homophobia going on with um, the Mexico in Mexico for the Mex um, and Mexi- And what they did, um, they, they made some, the fans were going on a bit homophobic with with one of the players and whatsoever, and they shut the stadium down. Yeah, we said next game, no fans. Now it sounds radical, yeah, but for me, as soon as you hear booing. Next game, no fans until you recognize. Well, you know but I know that's very radical and very harsh. But I'm seeing it yeah. implemented from an FA perspective, not FA. But you look at you yeah. look at obviously when the Super League was proposed for the big six, the alleged big six, mm. and that was how quick was that shut down? Yeah, true. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and, and, and I know it's money orientated, but you've got <laughs> high profile it? footballers, Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher, who kind of say orchestrated it but we're kind of the leaders of mm. of getting that shut down and look how supporters then got involved and how quick that was well it's yeah. gone now doesn't exist yeah. yeah we'll look at the euros just now they had the um the lgbt stuff with um was it czech republic germany 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 and hungary right. so they wanted to to promote they wanted to light up the stadium and stuff like that yeah and um again they rose awareness for that particular cause or for that yeah. particular issue you know what i mean and to the point where they put a directive across the whole of their fa <laughs> across the country all of their major clubs mm. are gonna have i'm gonna represent lgbt mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah there's yeah. no booing about that yeah there's no yeah. major major kickoff about that yeah you know no. they make they make um all the captain armbands or majority of captain armbands now are oh, lgbt, LGBT. Yeah, armbands. Yeah, 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 yeah you know what i'm saying so you know in the same way the same energy is not kept for racism, racism. the same you know the same energy is not kept for racial abuse and stuff like that so yeah I, I, I'm, I'm just yeah very frustrated when you see those things happen yeah but uh, you look at that and obviously the lgbt how powerful football is how powerful footballers can be to get a message across mm, and that's why mm, i think mm. it's important and I, I think it's really important that players keep taking the knee yeah uh, they, they might look at changing something mm-hmm. maybe not taking mm-hmm. the knee and doing something else but they have to i think it's important they keep doing something because that they are real powerful individuals mm. whether we, we agree with it or not people look at them yeah yeah, look at Ronaldo with the, the coke. With the Carlsberg. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, shut down Carlsberg ridiculous. overnight, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Not yeah. actually boosted up Carlsberg, but he shut down Pepsi, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Millions, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it just goes to show you, if one of our, like, top black footballers, and there's so many of them, would stood up and just said, listen, in the middle of an interview, and said, listen, mm-hmm. this needs to stop right now. You know what I mean? We need to clamp oh, down I the FA, that. the UEFA, FIFA, you have to clamp down on abuse of our black players. You need to do something. Yeah. You need to because, put a directive out there. Yeah, I agree. They'll all be in contact as well. You yeah. know, Marcus Rashford, although he plays for Man yeah, United, yeah. will yeah. be in contact with Raheem Sterling, who plays for Man City. Yeah. They'll be in contact with Reese James, who plays for Chelsea. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. The, yeah, that's it. That's a it. A lot more I'm, could I'm be done. A lot of them are afraid, afraid of their. <sighs> afraid, they're afraid of their, their repercussions. You know what I mean? I, 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 just, I, I just don't think we radicalize over here, guys. You know, I, I really do feel that um, not radicalize. I feel like um, we we've meant. <laughs> uh, we, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't, know, I don't, know, I don't know, make it sound like. like we, to, we, sorry, I'd just like to reiterate the views and. Well, I would say radical. We, we, we don't stand up on our own two feet over here. Like we, I believe, like US. I think it's the traditional. We mentioned it many times. We We've seen Muhammad Ali. We've seen a lot of US athletes um, yeah. use their position, prepare to From sacrifice, sacrifice their careers. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, Kaepernick is is a one of the late, latest one um, um, having his career taken literally off him. And I just don't see it in the UK. 
You know what I mean? And, but, you know, I have to salute people under pressure cursing Rashford about he needs to focus on his football. Yeah? But I have to respect people like Rashford. He's, he's almost do it because he, he's not made it. This is not a black and white thing. But he cares about something that affected him, him as a child. He was he, 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 he never had enough food. You know what I'm saying? So he's coming there, stood up while he can and made a big move. But at the same time, he takes the knee. This is the, I want people to understand this, how this makes me feel sick. You receive food from this guy. This guy has has gone out his way to feed, I'm not saying the nation, literally himself, but with the creator of the community, white, black, Asian, whoever you are. And yeah. then when he takes a knee to say, listen, can you, and he gets the most abuse from his own fans, let alone yeah. anybody else and get booed. Yeah. Just for, even, even two people booing, game. yeah? It's mm -hmm. too much. Don't disrespect yeah. a man who has actually said, I'm, I'm not looking at your colour, I'm just looking at your hungry child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's just amazing how people's mindsets are just blinkered yeah. at that. It, it actually hurts. You came, you, you came out and you stood out on a governmental level, even even local government, even Andy Burnham. He came out and, and, and uh, to be honest, he did send out a tweet, fair enough. <laughs> but he really stood out. And, and 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 stood by Marcus at that particular that was an that was an opportunity when he got the most amount of abuse a lot of our black foot footballers um I think it was after one of the games um got the most amount of abuse and nobody yeah. stood up for them at all crazy yeah. the question then should is because I think that there is definitely a part of it where it comes down to uh, like what you were saying awareness people assuming that mm. these guys are yeah. thinking because of the whole BLM thing so I suppose the question really should be um, yeah should there be a, a, a almost like a united front of the players come forward and saying guys this is the reason and I'm not talking about because okay we, we know for example um, after the, the England game you know the players and Gareth said about actually the reason whatever was was this this and the other but I'm talking about a constant Reminded yeah. people the reason that we're doing this is because we want to build awareness for this so that yeah. there's that constant message yeah. going out rather than a one time message, a constant yeah. message that it's not because name. of. Huh? Come up with a name, come up with a gimmick or whatever it may be that represents us from the UK um, with regards to football and us representing, um, you know, against and standing yeah. against any form of abuse. It doesn't even have to just be racism, but any right, form of abuse that we're going to stamp it out. Yeah. And we are actually going to be um, taking action against any individual that does that because there were too many keyboard warriors and 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 you know fans that are in the stands abusing our black footballers. But then yeah. half an hour later, when when you put in England through to the next round, it's a different story. All of yeah. a sudden, he's the boy from Brent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, at all, don't let me have to go down that no, road. You know don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. The boy don't from Brent, you know. The boy from Brent, you know. The from Brent Tree. Brent Tree over. 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 From Brent. From Brent, we are Chalani. Yeah, man. From Brent, we are Chalani. From Brent, we are Chalani. Brent, we are Chalani. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> oh, Lord. I think we just lost Wardy for two seconds there still. Yeah, guys. Right, hopefully, he'll, 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 he got scared. We got we hit that conversation there still. Hopefully, he'll just jump back in anyway still. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> it, how, how are you feeling so far with the um, conversation? Insightful? Yeah. It's good to get his perspective, innit? To tell you the truth, bro. Yeah. It's just, at the end of the day, we, we can go around. Coming back in, coming back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Round the reeking, round the reeking, right? Just go around the reeking. Yeah. At the end of the day, the problem's this. Yeah. You've got all this West Midlands police doing this, but and the other. When, when are you going to bring someone to court and make a stand? The geezer mm -hmm. racially abused Marcus Rashford from the stands in the Chelsea Man United game. We took him to court. You did, you did. We give him a fine. We give him three months in jail. That'll stop someone doing it the next time. Trust until me. that happens, yeah. yeah. Until that happens, it doesn't make sense. This long talking, and we're going to do, we're going to do. We've been mm. talking for years, fam. We've mm. been we've been talking for blinking years, yeah. bro. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, no. 